that's a beautiful drive from a very fine young product Mohammad Amir is renowned for his left arm medium pace bowling but uh, he's paying definite attention to his batting in the nets and uh, the results are showing that slice officially runs for Mohammad Amir will come back for two but Pakistan couldn't have asked for a more straightforward run across the line after bundling out New Zealand for 200 odd all they had to do was to bat normally and as Jeffrey Boycott just said normal is not uh, a popular word in the camp I think it also becomes very important that uh, the captain is in good form because It's 100 for 8. Played it from his knees. Well, Danny. That goes 6. First 6 of the innings. He likes it. The crowds love it as well. At last, something for the people to rejoice. Yeah, beautiful. Not only did he hit it well, but he hit it right into the gap as well. To the crack there is. Uh... Goes again. Goes big. Another six. Terrific strike from Ahmad Amir. He spent a lot of time at the crease and now milking the advantage. And I wonder if up by Vittori a little more invite uh, that hit again he's got three men back on the leg side will he go for the third one quicker one from Daniel Vittori and played nicely with a straight bat goes big again connects and gone again for six the third one in the over crowds absolutely love it 19 of the over it's 121 for now. Goes big again. Will it be taken? Carl Mills uh, overrunning the ball. Two runs picked up by Mohammad Amir. Daniel Vittori is not impressed. Yeah. Making room and finding the gap. That ball will race away to the boundary. He's providing a lot of pleasure and a lot of delight to the crowds who are absolutely quiet and disgruntled with the effort of their top batsmen. He blocks. It appears as if he's keen not to throw his wicket away. I think he's got the range in his mind also. I think he's decided when the ball is uh, flighted to him, he's going to go for that slot sweep over square leg just like that this time all along the ground for one so well, that's what he's got to learn to do making room and driving it through the offside what a cracking drive he's improving by every ball oh wonderful shot Oh, gets a good one, but gets a four. Brendan McCollum was a little late in reacting to that sharp in dipper. Four buys considered. The fun continues here. 142 for nine. That's hit back. There's no one there. It's a boundary for Mohammed Amir. The crowds are absolutely delighted. He's on 45. It's also now the best partnership of the innings. They pick up one, there's a fielder there. 150 comes up for Pakistan. And it's 150 for now.
slices it for one. Another record, 50 partnership. That's gone for four. Has it? 50 for Mohammed Ahmed. What a remarkable achievement from a young and remarkably cool product of Pakistan Cricket Academy. He is really very cool in tough situation, tough circumstances, terrific hand and uh, well done in the end. Oh, superb, uh, exactly what you want. A young fast bowler who is fast. It's some bounce as well who's now showing some determination with the bat as well. Nicely behind that one. Makes room and drives handsomely. Straight back for four. It's turning out to be possibly, who knows, a match winning knock. Well, he nearly took out his partner on that occasion. And that was hit straight back down the pit. And uh, Ajmal, you watch him. He, he very, very nearly got hit on the head. Look at him down the other end there. Oh! Bit of bat, extra bit of angle created by around the wicket channel. Crowds obviously didn't like it. Well, I tell you what, uh, Oram was desperately keen. He said, hard there's a feeler there, long off. Highest scorer at number 10. Mohamed Amir has just created history here in Abu Dhabi. He now owns this world record. Most runs by number 10 in One Day Internationals. Absolutely fantastic. I think the last thing he would have been thinking about when he came to the ground this morning was breaking a batting world record. Oh, he's just got a little bit on it. Is it going to make the boundary? Yes. Inside edge. Well, the best thing he's doing is not really looking to go on. Well, because he's hit so powerfully, you've got to have that fine leg up. Slower ball. Hitting hard into the extra cover area. And they'll come back for two, which means Mohamed Amir is still on strike. You can see that it went straight uh, to the hands of the fielder and both these uh, batsmen were...